So, new facility, another Dart League night. Also doing the fan meetup uh, as soon as that gets rocking and rolling. But setup's going very quickly over here. And then this is really cool. This rec center has some courts out through here, but then up through here is like ping pong tables and all sorts of fun facilities. And they have like a full smoothie juice sandwich bar built into their facility, which for a facility this size is actually really neat to see. Everywhere that I've been to that the Rochester Foam Dart League sets up is just like awesome infrastructure. Lots of, lots of good people helping Justin get this thing off the ground. Really cool. Alright guys, see. I've been telling you for a long time that you can't hurt my feelings while you're rolling on Healy's. Well, she's, uh, she's nerfing with Healy's like... I told you, I told you it was real. It's gonna be cool on these basketball courts. I've been saying it forever. Someone finally did it. Yes. Penultimate mission just went up. It's the loadout today. Got the battle belt. Pretty much what we have left. Okay, so less safe zones. One will be specified by the map model. When you get when you get it there, you have to get to the you have to get the idol scored by placing it in a bucket at the location. This bucket may be guarded by a witch that came up when you completed building the idol. Great. In addition to the witch being activated, completing the construction of an idol will cause flags to go up at that cap location. Just in case you aren't with an idol as it travels, you can see where one is going. Locations for the map distributors. That's pretty much it. Rocking and rolling. Let's make it happen. Normal strike team will be going with me making the jump. John, you and the rest of them will be holding the door inside, but when you see us moving, I want everyone out to guard us, okay? I'll keep my eyes open. I'll call people out when, if you guys get into trouble. Awesome. So, Justin, Drag, yes. Dan. Let's do it. So we decided to take a strike force. We're going to kill all the special zombies before they, they can do anything special. It's going to be great. <laughs> Give me five of your best. Uh, all the cans. Now it's time for us to deliver them and make something with the cans. That is what we're doing. Human victory in the penultimate mission. What do you guys think of that? Yeah! <laughs> Showed up. And we're congratulating our victory with Kool Aid Jammers. Here, here. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Opa. <laughs> I want to give a special major shout out to this little dude, AJ. Uh, first off, he's rocking an EAT at a battle belt with my identical loadout. Second off, we just did a major human push at the end of that thing. And while like a bunch of college students were running despite me screaming at them not to, AJ was like three feet from me the whole time. And it's probably the reason that like half our flank didn't get just like totally bum rushed so like uh for you humans versus zombies players that think that you're like die hard humans and break as soon as things hit the fan uh this is aj he's 12 and he's tougher than you hashtag deal with it aj's over here just like grinning he's like yes yeah, true that happened <laughs> 